Our home farm is, is in Fairfield in Somerset County. We've been here since 1974. And the other main part of the operation is Lakeside Orchards, which is in, outside of Augusta in Kennebec County. And both orchards are about 50 acres. We generally get about 25 or 30,000 bushels in total. We have two farm stands, um, Lakeside Orchards open year round. Pick Your Own is in season. And cider pr production is through the year as long as we have apples. We had really no farming in our background to speak of and uh, we kind of learned as we went. We made a lot of rookie mistakes in those first few years, but we managed to survive. The stuff in the store was always my vision to um, provide an outlet for local producers of crafts or other products, pumpkins, whatever, local people. It had to be within a certain radius. At first I started off with 10 miles and then it got a little stretched out from 10 miles, but that was the goal. Most of the industry is geared now toward local Retail. sales. Retail, Retail direct to the sales. consumer. We've benefited a lot from, from the sentiment to buy local. The state of Maine's apple producers produce one bushel for every person in the state. So if every person in this state just eats one bushel of apples, we can hmm. support our farmers, <laughs> our apple farmers. You know, that's not that much. Two apples of, a week. Yeah, apple juice, mm -hmm. apple pie, fresh apples. It's not that hard to eat a bushel of apples in a year per person. Every apple has a place. <laughs> Kids love to watch this. What they really like, they like the fact the apples are moving by themselves, I think. But also when the apples go down to that end and drop off into the box, ooh, yeah, it's fun. Since the 70s, the number of farms has been shrinking rapidly and getting smaller. We would have been considered a small farm. Now we're considered a big farm. That's how it's shifted. We started uh, leasing Lakeside Orchards in 1999 for three years. The previous owners of that farm were ready to stop farming. They put it on the market. Developers looked at it, people looked at it, it was an issue. And then they said they would try to go through the land for Maine's future. If they could get the amount of money they wanted, we were able to buy it and it's our land. We own the land. If we ever decide to sell it, it will sell based on its um, ability to support itself as a farm. It was the first in the state to be sold based on its ability to support itself as a farm. And I would say if it weren't for that program, that farm wouldn't exist today. It wouldn't. It would be... It would be uh, house lots. They are professional apple pickers. We have the peace of mind of knowing that the crop will be harvested, knowing that it will be. Some of them have been with us from the very beginning. 25 years, same man. Same man. They know the orchard as well as we do. <laughs> Lots of apple. We have uh, Red Delicious, we have Makawan, we have Empire, which is these. We have Grey Pyamean, we have um, Ida Red, Parlor Reds, and St. Lawrence, and all them kind of apple. That's the name, about 52, something like that. We got issues because we both ordered. Uh, so if you could have Deb call. And we've put, raised our children here put them through college. I'm very proud of us for, for doing what we did. It's been very hard work, but you know, looking back on it, it's like, yeah, we did it. <laughs> for me, I love working with uh, growing things and nature and out, out of doors, and the freedom of it all. And, uh, just suited me perfectly.
<laughs> if a young person with a lot of energy and a lot of, you know, creativity would take it over, that would be the best thing for me. I mean, it would be wonderful if it was one of my children, but if, if it isn't uh, somebody. I hear people say they want to do this. You know, I don't know how realistic they are, but then again, we weren't realistic when we started off either. Fear is a miracle. Yeah, it is, totally. The blossoms are just unbelievable. And then when they're loaded with apples, it's amazing. And some more than others. I mean, you'll see these unbelievably gorgeous red apples, but then you'll go over to the golden russets and it'll be like balls of gold hanging all over the trees. And they're beautiful. And sometimes when we get all wrapped up in the business part of it, you have to get out into it to see what it's all about. <laughs>